Thank you for being with us tonight for the launch of the Global Labour Resilience Index 2020, which is focusing on the geography of jobs. We are in Davos, and we see that the United Arab Emirates is 21st in the world among 145 countries in terms of labour market resilience. But in particular, it's jumped more than 10 spots in the last five years. So there's a significant progression in terms of improvement of that labour market resilience. And you've obviously done some pretty solid things in that department. Could you elaborate and tell us what has the United Arab Emirates done to improve its labour market resilience? Well, thank you very much first for the report. I think it's an excellent report. Yeah. Well, of course, we aim to be in the top 10, hopefully very soon. Uh, with this report, we are going to utilise it and study it carefully and make sure that uh, somehow we reach the top 10, if not number one. Now, the UAE, of course, worked uh, over a long time on the development of the economy, the uh, diversification of our economy. Uh, it's a major important point, the growth in the economy that we have had over the past 50 years, because the UAE is going to be 50 years old by the year 2021. And we made sure also with that the uh, ability to create jobs also by uh, creating the diversity in the economy and providing for job opportunities within all these sectors. Of course, even recently, we started uh, looking more toward the future injecting in the uh, agenda of uh, innovation into the economy and how we can prepare our workforce also for this new, new transformation that's going to take place uh, in the economy of the OE, but also uh, providing for the right uh, job candidates uh, through education, uh, building of skills, and making sure that we satisfy the needs of the market in the UAE. So uh, definitely this is an important uh, report for us, but also it's an important eye-opener of the achievement that has been done by the UAE government. Excellent. Um, now, going forward, given how fast uh, skill needs are, are shifting and, and company needs are, are shifting, um, do you think the government has a role to play in helping um, support the citizens with developing the future skills that are required? Or is there some other way? Well, definitely there is. Uh, uh, we see it at both sides. One of the, the government role. Uh, especially when it comes to the education part of it, the higher education, uh, to make sure that the right uh, graduates are fulfilling the right jobs also that's going to come, especially uh, future-wise. Uh, on the other side of it is how to also bring in new skills, build these new skills in the private sector. And that's, of course, the responsibility of the private sector. So it is a combination of the two that need to be worked together. Of course, the uh, the uh, academic side of it has to be also involved in this. Uh, for us in the UAE, we have drafted a strategy that is very comprehensive, that takes the higher education into a part of it, which is aiming for the year 2030 as part of our vision on uh, achieving the, uh, hopefully, the successful target when it comes to the right graduate in different sector, whether it is in the uh, science and technology, whether it is in math, uh, in engineering. So we make sure that we have the full skill that we need to uh, make sure that we handle and manage the economy within the next 20 to 30 years. Excellent. And so I have another question for you, which is the role of entrepreneurship. To what extent do you think that uh, the future is a, a future of almost only entrepreneurs and, and, yeah, and, and how, how yeah. do we prepare? For that? Well, we encourage that. And of course, uh, having the right uh, regulations to govern that is very important. Providing for the right environment in terms of uh, nurturing uh, the entrepreneurship in nations, including us, of course, uh, having more of them involved in the economy uh, and, and making sure that it is, uh, uh, the, the government is supporting them at least for the first two to three years, providing for the right funds also, because uh, that's a, a challenge for many nations, but luckily in the UAE, that is available. So uh, how we can uh, create this sort of partnership between the government and the entrepreneurships to uh, be able to build this a new model that is at the end of the day contributes to the growth and diversity of the economy as we need it. Excellent. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. you.